Hi, Mom. Newsletter subscriber Jane submitted a question the other day that I think you and many others might like to know the answer to. Jane wants to know how to put a bunch of photos into a zip file so she can easily attach it to an email. So here I am about to send Jane some butterfly photos I have on my desktop. The first thing I'll do is just select these three by clicking and dragging and surrounding them. And then I'll want to choose the compress function. There's two ways to do that. One is I can control click or right click on any of these three and you'll see I have a compress three items option. Or I could have gone up to the file menu and the same function is there. Compress three items. Once I do you'll see it's created a new file called archive.zip. Now a little explanation here. A zip file is really just a file that contains one or more other files. And in this case it has those three butterfly images. That compress function will always name it archive.zip or if a file that name already exists, it'll start numbering it, you know, archive2, archive3, things like that. So you probably want to rename this. I do that by just clicking and holding a second on the name there. And now it puts me into edit mode, so I will um, change the name to Butterflies. Now, you may not always have the files that you want to zip on your desktop, so you can basically do the same thing in the Finder. Here I am in a folder that has nine different images. I'll do the same thing to zip those. I'll just highlight the ones I want in the zip file, go up to the file menu, and say compress nine items. And you can see since it's more, this is going to take about five seconds to do those. And once again, it's created an archive.zip file. Now, in either case, once you've created the zip file, you can attach it to your email. I'm using Gmail, which Jane also does. I can click Attach a File and then go find it like that. Or, I really like this, Gmail just lets you drag and drop the file like that. So I've actually attached it twice now, but that's just to show you the two different ways to attach. So um, creating zip files can be useful not just for email attachments. It can also be useful if you have a bunch of documents or images or pretty much anything that you don't really need access to right now, but you want to save away and you want to um, use less space on your hard drive. One thing you can do is just create a zip file with all the files in it and store it away. Hope that helps.